Alright, we're back with part two, and we're in the about to go into lair battle. So, I got done with part one, so that'd be easy to sort through. And now I'm going to do one part next. One more part. So there are guys that... Well, no, none. So that guy's just running back there for no reason. If I can make this shot... Oh, hit one of my own guys. I'm going to go this way, so he doesn't bonk me on the head. So... Got a nice boat there. Oh. You have some... Oh, right click is to block with any weapon. Forgot to tell you that. I didn't do the tutorial. But if you press it really fast with a, um ordinary weapon, it'll auto-block for you. That's typically what I do because I suck at the other kind of blocking. Eh. Ooh. Right now, I'm not the, the quickest of the bunch because I haven't leveled up that far and expanded that skill. Athletics also and agility also speed you up. Ew. Ew. You might want to call a chiro chiropractor. Back doctor. So, now where's the guy's brother? He should be around here somewhere. Hello! Thank you, thank you, sir, for rescuing me from those fiends. Did my brother some saga put you into the rack? That was wrong sounding. Yes, I told him that I would find you. I advise you to return to your family as quickly as you can. Be careful on the road. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. We got him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. we have lots of stuff to sell. It give us... Okay, now this is different. Like, the price it tells us here is a lot different when we get to different towns. It could be the same at some towns. It could be more, it could be less. It depends on the economy of the town. Rocks you don't want to have in your inventory. So let me see if I got any rocks. Yeah. Bag of stones. Is it actually? No, I'm going to replace you with... Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. So we're going to go back to Sargoth. Uh, and party or the crews. We're gonna need huntsmen now. We gotta need somebody to back us up behind the lines. So we just need to get back to start off and finish the beginning quest. And then we can move out our merry way to becoming well hang on. I'm gonna think real fast here. I think we should try and become king. And then as soon as we build a country, and then we could become at peace. I mean, it doesn't, like, as long as we, like, conquer, conquer a bit, and then we're at peace. That's going to take a long time. But, I mean, if I do that, I think I'll end the Let's Play. Tournaments. They can get you vassal. Vassal means you own land for the king and you fight for him. And then taxes. You Whatever village you own will pay you taxes. And you have to strengthen their economy because they get attacked and you have to defend them. And they pay for their defense. That's kind of how it works. And then you can pay to upgrade the town, like give it a watchtower or a school or something. And then it improves the town, and, and then they will start to love you, and they will give you better troops, more trained troops. Ah, you're still here. If you're still here when I come, when I'm done here. Well, my brother is home safe. I'm not sure what I would do without him. Maybe pack him off into a university outside of Calradia. That way, if he gets knocked on the head in a street brawl, no one can say it's my fault. But that's not your problem. Here is the rest of your reward. It was well earned. The money is most welcome, and I am glad to have been of service. Good! Now, are you interested in, in making some more? Possibly. What do you need? Remember how I told you the bandits had an ally inside the walls? I think I know who it is. Oh, cool. Excuse me, ma'am. The captain of the watch, no less. Some months ago, this captain is seeing the amount of profit we merchants are making from trade across the frontiers. Decided to borrow some money and sponsor a caravan, eh? Unfortunately, like many who are new to commerce, he failed to realize that the great profit only comes with great risk. So, he sank all his money into the most expensive commodities. And of course, his caravan was captured and looted. He lost everything. As a consequence, it seems, our captain turned to villainy uh, to recoup his fortune. I suppose I'd do the same if the heavens forbid I ever face indebtedness and re ruination. Now, any watch captain is worth his salary will have a few thieves and robbers on his payroll to inform on the rest of but our captain decides to employ these Bastards wholesale, and he brings them to the town, lets them do as they will. 
and he takes care of them on their take. You heard of poachers turning gamekeepers? Well, in the unfortunate land of Calvadia, sometimes game peoples would turn poacher. Luckily, there's still a few brave, honest souls to watch who've told me how he works. Now, here is my plan. I could bring this to the attention of King Ragnar, Lord of the City, but that would mean inquiry. My word against the captains and the witnesses can, own, can be bought and evidence destroyed, or maybe the whole thing will be forgotten if the enemy comes across the border again. And I'll, in all I'll get for my trouble is a knife in the ribs. In the time of war, you see, a king's eye wanders far from his domain, and his subjects suffer. So I've got another idea. I've got a small group of townsfolk together. Some men in my employ and some others who've lost relatives to these bandits and will storm the captain's home and bring him to chains before King Ragnar, hopefully with a few captured up bandits to explain things stack up. All I need now is someone to lead my little army into battle, and I can't think of anyone better than you. So what do you say? Thanks, man. How do you know you're telling me the truth? Hmm. Oh, well, I suppose it's possible that I found a dozen bandits who were willing to give their lives a passing stranger false impression of life in old sorrow. Well, I guess you can't really know if my, if my word is good, but I reckon you've learned by now m that my money is good and there's you. And... Ah, uh, sorry. I guess you can't really know if my word is good, but I reckon you've learned now my money is good, and there's another hundred dinars waiting for you, and maybe a bit more. That's waiting for you if you do, if you'll do me this last little favor. So what do you say? Alright, I'll lead you in. Oh, I'm sorry, this is what's so fast. I need time to think. I'll lead you in. I need the money. Splendid! It's been a long time since I... Stake so much on a single throw of the dice, and frankly, it's exhilarating. My men are ready to move on your word. Are you ready? Yes, give them the sign. Good. Now, strike hard, strike fast, and make and make the captain and his henchmen won't know what hit them. Thank you. May the heavens be with you. Okay, we go out of the tavern into the streets. Nervous looking men, concealing weapons. We're prepared to fight them. Now, all those people work for me, and then some of them aren't. Alright lads, time lads, love up at them. Now you see, the guys that look like bandits, were bandits. Oh, you killed a lady who was trying to defend her place. I'm gonna put a lady in my army just to freaking protect her honor, you idiot. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you all should die and be ashamed of you. A few soldiers are working on our side, which is good. It gives us an edge against them, because these guys are crappily trained, but they're better than the townsfolk at fighting, because they've actually been in fights. Oh, sorry, townswoman. Nearly hit you. Ah, oh, we need some Nord warriors. They'd be great in our army. Having a bit of trouble there? Okay. We win the fight. Ha! Ah, well done! I saw at least three of the enemy go to down before you. Keep fighting like that and you'll make a quite a name for yourself in this land. Unfortunately about eight of my lads got themselves wounded. I should go look on them. The heavens alone grant us victory. Let every villain hear the name Herald Kick of Autumn. I'm glad to see that you're alive too. Let every villain fear the name Kick of Autumn. Yes, yes. Now a couple of my boys have the watch captain pinned down in a back room with a knife to his throat. I'll need to go drag him before King Ragnar and explain what the breach of peace is all about. You don't need to be a part of that, though. Tell you what, if all goes well, I'll meet you in the tavern again shortly, and I'll let you know about how all these things came out. If you don't see me in the tavern, but instead see my head on a spike over the city gates, I'll assume you know enough to stay out of town for a while. And forget this whole episode of heaven. So, hopefully we will meet again. Good luck. Ah, uh, don't know what to say. Now to the tavern to help that poor villager. I mean, farmer. I think. And if he's still there, but if not, we're going to try our hand at the tournaments, which we'll probably do badly in. Oh, he's still here. Hey. I ain't going to talk to you.
My lord, you look like a man of a sword, and someone who could help us. Will you hear my plea? What is the matter, my good man? A band of brigands have taken refuge in our village. They have taken everything we have, forced us to serve them, and do us much evil. If one so much, if one as so, so much breathes a word of a protest, they'll kill a poor soul on the spot right away. Our, our lives have become unbearable. I risked my skin and ran away to find someone who can help us. Why don't you go to the Lordy village? He should take care of the vermin. I did, sir, but our lord's men did not let me see him, and he said he was occupied with more important matters. Uh, probably having nothing. And that we should deal with our own problem ourselves. Please, sir, you look like a man of valor and fearsome a warrior, and you'd have no doubt many friends and soldiers at your service. If there is someone who can help us, it's you. Very well, I'll help you. Where's the village? Good bless you, sir. Our village is Fanata. It is not too far from here. Well, I have a few men, not much train. Hang on. Yeah, I got a few men. Ooh, I, I, I can upgrade. So I want an intelligence point. I want a surgery skill so people get knocked unconscious. And I'm going to want a pathfinding skill for speed. And archery sword. I might learn to cut that part out, but not quite yet. So, to Fenata. Eh? So, okay, there are 14 of them. They're mountain bandits, so... I say out of one out of ten out of okay, we got a lot of farmers to help, and then there are a few of my people in there as well. So this fight should be fairly easy. If these guys are on foot, I've got them. Where are they exactly? Okay, so they're in town somewhere. Uh, ooh, oh, they're on foot. Pow! <laughs> my crossbow is faster than your bow. Whoa, I got some guy good. Ooh, dang it! Ah, oh, turn around. Ow, 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 Oh god, farmer Scott kill, I'm so sorry. And about all worthy song, you and your men drive the bandits out of the village, making it safe once more. The village have left little left in the wealth after their ordeal, but they offer you all they can. Refuse to any more items in need. I can't honor. I'm gonna recruit volunteers for oh they like me. Okay. So we got some troops. We are ready to upgrade. So no recruit. Okay. So I'm gonna put two there and two there. So we have three and three. That's good, that's good. Oh, I'm quite hurt. Okay, now it's time to see my helmet slash hat matter. Oh, God. This, this is ugly. Okay, this is the kind of armor we can get. It costs 7,003 dinars. Soon we'll be getting that every single paycheck. Huh. But until we get that, we're going to have to stick with our leather jacket, or we're going to have to get something other thing. I won't sell the horse. I'm not going to leave linen anytime soon, but it could come in handy and so could the wool. So I'm going to keep that on me for a little while. I'm not going to sell that right away. You're going to want to do that if you get that. So you're going to want to sell all the armor. So my stats are not better than that. But I might look into getting some armor as well. But if not, I'm going to go. I'm going to have to find one of those and put them on. Besides, those things look weird. So, my hat or deal. Saturn centered felt hat. Ugh. That looks sturdy hood. I'm not a jester. Hang on. But I'll wear it. I'll be a jester. <laughs> I got some gloves already. Okay. Step armor. Nine eight three. Can't quite afford that. Sturdy blue gamption. Twenty-six. Think no matter. We're gonna have to wear that. Well, we look like just the perfect clown to take the job, eh? Okay, so we're gonna buy some food. Dried meat's always good because it doesn't go bad. Pork and grapes. Uh, grapes don't go bad, but pork. Things like pork can go bad in raw beef, so you don't want that. You're gonna want smoked fish, dried meat, grapes, and bread. But you have to quickly feed your army. I'm sorry about the barking. Give me one moment. Okay. With the barking simmering down a bit. Or not. Okay. 
what we need to do is we need to go out and train our men. We're healing slowly, but the perfect people to fight is usually sea raiders that are around this area, but my men aren't strong enough yet. So I'm going to have to find different types of bandits to train them up a bit. Uh, we're going to need different types of people. This is going to take a very long time. So I might not do episodes like really long, but this weekend, ooh, yes, yes, yes. I'm full. Okay, this is why you want your pathfinding skill. It makes you faster. Than them. What do you want? So, as you wish, prepare to die. I say surrender or die. I'm gonna charge the enemy. Well, I'm gonna try do a Glory of the Roman Empire video later this weekend, as I, after I get these two up, so that will work fine, hopefully. I'm gonna go with crossbow. I just might keep it for one shot. But a bow will be more useful. Ah. There will be times that I lose, and I'll be friggin'. I apologize now if I end up crying because I lost. I'll get pissed off. I'll get real pissed off. I might rage quit for a little while, but I'll come back to it. I'm gonna at least try my best to. Nothing really important there. Oh, my jesterness. Okay, our people are ready to upgrade in order to put So next, what we're going to want to do is we're going to pick up some Swadians. These guys upgrade into Knights and Sergeants. Holy freaking crap. Okay. So these guys aren't as strong as they think they are. So this is a slightly larger army. This is time to demonstrate an army around my size, which is a fairly large size for the beginning of the game. Eh, what is it? Your luck has run out, wretch. Prepare to die. Another fool come to throw himself on my weapon, eh? Fine, let's fight. Now, these are some of the weakest people in the game. So, this fight should be easy, especially with a bunch of recruits and some trained people. Now, typically what I do in a battle, before I get cavalry, there is cavalry in the game, and the best cavalry comes from the Kyrgyz Kanat, in my opinion, because they're all cavalry. The best infantry and, ca uh, and some moderate cavalry comes from Swadia. The best spearmen come from the Rodox, there is no doubt. Now, the best footmen come from the Nords and the Vagers. And the best archers come from the Nords, in my opinion, there. Now, these guys are going to be a bit hard to fight until my army hits them, so I'm going to try and pick people off on the edges. Here, ow! I got hit real good. Okay, so my army hit them, now they're starting to split off. I have a low surgery skill, as you can see. Nord recruit knocked unconscious. And that yellow is not good, and that red is really bad. That means somebody died in my army. All that blue means somebody got killed in their army. Now, two people just died. Which, that's going to happen. That sorts out the good people from the bad. As you can see, two people died. One got wounded. Okay. This is really good armor. It protects my legs as well. But what is that? 2612. Ragged outfit. How does that look? Eh, we'll go with the ragged outfit. Uh, jerkin, black hood. I'm gonna stick all this. Hunting bow, hunting bow. Cracked short bow, cracked short bow. Okay. I can use this. Bent arrows, this is all I got. Alright, so, we got a bow. Those people were carrying a lot of money. So we can upgrade these guys. We're gonna want a bit more footmen than we have huntsmen. Okay, now we're going to get Nord Trained Footmen. we got to watch our money here. It, we can go in debt, by the way. We have Nord Trained Footmen. They look like this. They have real good armor now. They have better armor than me, character. Ah, uh, agility. Um, riding. I like the horses in this game, so... Archery. So we got our first bow. And we got our first sword from a drunk dude. So I'm guessing we're going to need a different one at different some time, times. So, I'm going to go to Tazhtar. These guys are kind of like English and French. I'm just going to... Okay, now this is the weekly budget. This comes around, and this is when we get taxes paid, and this is our budget, basically. So, during the week, we lost 90 dinars, so we went from 273 to 183 just from paying our troops, as you can see down here. Hopefully you can see the mouse. Now we're going to go to Tazhtar. We're going to recruit volunteers. This can happen. Even when I go... Okay, I'm going to want to do this. 
Pa. Ooh. Ugh. Dang it. I miss with a bow. I have to get much better at a bow. Dang it, I hit a friggin' fence post. In the village. Oh god. These guys have some good armor. So. Now, Sea Raiders, we might fight eventually. Oh. So, we might need some... Okay. Okay, it's weak to a side. We're gonna need some... People here, and I'm gonna pick them up. And I'm gonna end it here. That's as far as I'm gonna go tonight. But remember, we're gonna expect some glory of the Roman Empire later this week. And, I mean, later this weekend. <clears throat> and maybe later this week, I might come out with another... Wandering in Minecraft. I just might. But until then. See ya.